There is a great undiscovered place where wild horses thunder across the wide open plains. A place where golden eagles soar above the frozen steppe through time and history. A place where legendary nomads meet modern day adventurers. And where a brand new capital city glitters in the sun on the edge of a hopeful future. This this. This place, one of the last vast unknowns, is Kazakhstan. The world's ninth largest country, Kazakhstan is a land of grand canyons, stunning vistas, rugged mountains, and awesome steppes. This great, yet largely unknown land is as diverse in its landscape as in its people. And while the faces and places in Kazakhstan can be as different as the snow-covered peaks are from the vast arid deserts, a feeling of understanding and harmony rules the land. This vision of cooperation and security has been championed by Kazakh President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev since Kazakhstan's independence in 1991. In fact, President Nazarbayev has been instrumental in not only promoting peace within Kazakhstan, but in dismantling Kazakhstan's nuclear arsenal, the world's fourth largest. As chair of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe in 2010, he has also been instrumental in bringing leaders from 56 countries to Astana for the first OSCE summit in 11 years. President Nazarbayev's long-term development strategy, Kazakhstan 2030, Prosperity, Security and Improved Living Standards for All Kazakhs, was adopted in 1997. Since 1998, all the programs adopted in the country are being developed. Kazakhstan is well on its way towards meeting its goal. As the stable center of Central Asia, Kazakhstan, and specifically its capital Astana, is the perfect place to hold a summit focused on finding a sense of common purpose in addressing shared threats and challenges. Astana boasts more than a modern economy. It's a city of modern ideas and forward thinking. Although Kazakhstan is of strategic importance to Central Asia and the world, it is often a blank on the map. However, although surrounded by sometimes volatile countries, Kazakhstan has been and remains the center of stability and development in Central Asia. Perhaps due in part to Kazakhstan's nomadic past, adaptability and openness are in the Kazakh DNA. Almaty, the former capital, is the financial and commercial center of the region. And the people of Kazakhstan are an educated people, boasting an almost 100% literacy rate. Important too, Kazakhstan, a secular, predominantly Muslim state, is a model of ethnic and religious harmony and a place of tolerance and cooperation. Nowhere is this synergy of ideas and backgrounds more evident than in Astana, this is a place where the spirit of a crystal city reflects an entire nation. All around this 21st century city, the Kazakh landscape offers up untold natural resources. Oil, natural gas and minerals abound. Yet many outside Kazakhstan's borders are unaware of its enormous potential. In the heavily populated east, there is mining, commerce and agriculture. The West offers sparse but energy-rich lowlands, the Aral and Caspian Seas. The fertile South is threaded by the ancient roots of the famed Silk Road. And in the industrialized North, the Siberian climate dominates vast empty steppes. This, this, this is Kazakhstan a prosperous modern Eurasian nation with a rich and storied past and a future of limitless potential. Now you know. Now you are here. Welcome to Kazakhstan. <laughs>